Yo, what's up guys, it's story time with your boy Kappa. Let me tell you all about the times that being pulled up on made me my current friend group. So back in junior, I tend to be a bit of a loner. I had a few friends I wasn't close with, a few others I was. I'd just gotten back from overseas and I was trying to readapt. But by the time I was adapted though, I'd already been set in my reputation. As such, I pretty much just gave up and I was one of those kids who got picked on a lot. One day I was heading through the park near my house. I just finished studying in the library and I wanted to grab some purple Doritos from the vending machine. Look here, I don't care what anyone says. Sweet chili Doritos, they smack ungodly hard. Give me a bag of OG purples over 10 of any other normal Dorito flavor. Kids from my school often hung out in the park, and there were like two of them sitting around at one of the tables with two of the other kids. Normally, if you see kids from your school, like the normal reaction is just to walk by, and that's what I was doing. Yeah, there was this one kid from my English who I wasn't close with at all. I actually really didn't like him. I thought he was constantly rubbing it in that I was still getting reacquainted to the States. He kept asking questions about my old home and I kept brushing it off. I know it sounds a bit dumb now, but like after being picked on from my old accent and such, I was really sensitive about like when people asked where I was from. I avoided most of them because I thought they were him picking on me. He was actually the one who ended up calling me over and like inviting me to hang out and take a hit. Even then, normally I would have just backed off and just smiled and just said, nah. But this time I was like, yeah, fuck it, sure. I figured if it was too much, I could just go home. I never hit a bong before, so I fucked up. Hard. Started coughing my absolute lungs out. And they laughed, and after seeing the video of it, I can see why. I looked fucking dumb as all hell. Still, they taught me how to properly hit it, and that's a skill I never used again. But I was bawling. They put on some music, and soon enough we were just jamming in the park. That's when shit went down. Three guys in hoodies pulled up. Apparently one of the guys that my two classmates were hanging with owed the lead guy some money. Let's call the guy who owed money X and the guy he owed it to Dave. Like, I know his real name, but he looked a lot like a Dave. Dave said that he either wanted his money or for X to fight him in the park bathrooms. And I don't need to say how fucking suspicious that is. X's friend talked to Dave and asked for time to get the money up, and then Dave and his buddies backed off for a bit. They told us not to leave, though. For the record, Dave and his friends were about the same age as us. They were about high schoolers. X kept saying that we should fight them. He said there were four of us, with me excluded for obvious reasons, and three of them. There was only one problem with that, other than the fact that no one really wanted to throw down. Dave had something in his hoodie pocket. To this day, I don't know what it was. One of my classmates said it was a gun, since Dave's dad had one that he didn't keep well locked up. X kept saying that Dave wouldn't do that kind of thing, and that he was just faking it, trying to intimidate X. No one wanted to take the risk that Dave wasn't bluffing though, since it was pretty dark. I'll admit I wasn't taking part in these discussions at all, I was just sitting there on a table eating my Doritos. And that's when the guy I knew from English class was like, I could go home, this wasn't my problem, I didn't need to get caught up in it. This is where I was an absolute dumbass. If you're ever put into a position like this, just leave. Chances are absolutely nothing good is going to come out of staying there. Yet my dumbass didn't do that. Instead, I just said I was good, I was bowling, I didn't need to go. The situation was resolved when X's friend ended up paying like $30 or so to Dave, and they walked off. English friend called up his brother, and they all got driven home, and I walked home. Yeah, when I went to school the next day, there was a whole ass change in the way I was treated. I had a place to sit at lunch for once, X ended up partnering with me for our trip the next day for poetry writing. I ended up being English guy's partner for the walk at home after school for most days till Corona hit. They popped me into the group chat and it was smooth sailing from there. Apparently they thought that me hanging around and having them back there was pretty cool of me. I actually found out that an English guy was just trying to befriend me the whole time, which is something to this day I still find hilarious. Well, I don't hang out with X anymore for a different set of reasons. Me, English guy, and our other classmates still hang out pretty often. I do count them both as among my closest friends. But yeah, that's how what could have been the end of my life ended up giving me a group of friends. I do have to repeat though, if you're ever in a situation like this, it's really better to just leave. Follow the rule of DBD, or don't be a dumbass. If it's something that's going to win you a Darwin Award or likely to have you end up in the obituary, it's most likely a thing you shouldn't be doing. Either way, if you like the video, drop a like and a comment below. It helps a lot and I do appreciate it. If you want to hear more stories, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Peace.